So in the last video, we pulled down from Ars Technica all the type, all the list elements that contain the class T's article. And down here under H2, we're going to try to extract this title text from all the things on Ars Technica. All right. So we're going to get rid of this print length of titles because now we know what that is. So now we have a titles object that contains 34 different things. And you can see that we ran it with the length function. It says, okay, we have 34 list items here that we can work with. This is where we want to use a for loop. So I'm going to say for, go ahead and call it, I don't have anything called li in here, for list item in titles. And you know what? I'm going to change this up a little bit so it makes more sense. I'm going to call this list item because that's what they are, right? There's 34 list items. And I'm going to say for list items. For list item in list items. This is a Python for loop now. Now we know that inside of every list item when you look at this there's only appears to be one h2 tag so this is pretty good and if there was more than one we would hope that we would find like a class or something we could associate with it and that h2 has a child item of a h r e f and it's got text in it too right so here's our h2 it's the only one in list so that helps us out quite a bit so for every list item that we have, let's create a variable called h2, I'll call it h2 tag, equals, and we'll do a list item, because as we loop through this, it'll do this for every one of them, dot find, and we want to pull the h2 tag, right? And let's go ahead then for every item right now and let's check this as we move through and we build the program. So for every item we're going to find the h2 tag and we're going to print it. Let's see if that works. Save that. And you can see that I've come up with an issue there. I've done something terribly wrong. This is a problem with programming Python without an appropriate IDE. Um, we have one opening parentheses, another one, so we need another parenthesis here, like that. Let's run that again, find out. And that looks good. So now we've got a list of H2s, and we can see Shenmue returns again. Acura builds a stiffer chassis. We can see we're pulling down H2s now that have links and text. So that's pretty good. We can start to approach this in a number of different ways now. All right. So that print was just a test. And at this point, we know that the H2 tag has text in it. So let's do a print. Let's see if we can do it this way. H2.getText and see if that h2 tag is able to extract that text that might be inside of the a tag though but we're going to find out so let's try that again i've done something with parentheses that needs to be remedied here oh it's h2 tag dot get text my bad like that Okay, and so now I've pulled down a list of all the articles that are on the website. Not bad. All right, so let's see if we can pull the links down too. So at this point, we're saying, okay, H2, there's text inside of H2. We're pulling all of this. We also need to pull the link that comes right before it that's inside of the A tag, and we're going to do that with a regular expression. At some point 
in the last year, if you're watching this, you probably should have gone to regex1.com. If you haven't, I you really need to work through this. And it gives you an idea of what regular expression um, items do. For example, the up, the little up caret there means match the beginning of line. The dollar sign means match the end of line. Uh, numbers 0 through 9, if you put that in brackets, that'll match any single number. Um, and so working through these basic regular expressions in terms of matching strings uh, is something you should have done before. I encourage you to just do a, a quick Google for regular expression tutorial, brush up on regular expressions, because what we're going to have to do is inside of here, we're going to need to spot HTTPS and we're going to want to pull this anything that starts with HTTPS, it looks like, inside of probably the href tag. So we're going to be looking for all hrefs inside of here, and we're going to be pulling down uh, the HTTPS inside of H2. All right, let's do that. So I'm going to take a shot at this like this. I'm going to say, okay, we want the link inside of H2. And so we've extracted all the H2s here into something called H2 tag. And we're going through every list item. And we're pulling down the H2 tag. So for every H2 tag, let's go ahead and find any A tag. Because every H2 tag here has a child item that is A. Here's our H2 child item A. And we're going to pull the attribute. It has to have the attribute href. That's how we do the attributes inside of tags. Another new thing, right? And so this a tag has an attribute of href, so that's going to match. And we're going to use re, which is Python for uh, regular expression. Re stands for regular expression. And we're going to compile. We're going to say, OK, inside of the href attribute, so whatever's after that equal sign quotation mark, we want to find anything that starts with HTTPS colon slash slash, and we want to extract that. And we're going to call that a link, right? H2 link. Now, in order to make this happen up at the top now, I have to create another import. We're going to import RE, regular expressions. I'm going to save that. And we're going to need to do a pip install re. We need to bring in our regular expression library. Oh, that didn't work. Maybe it'll work right off the bat. Let's find out. Python scraper.py. And this is pretty good here. So we've got, let's take a look at what we got here. I'm going to evaluate. So this H2 link contained too much information in that last screen. If you scroll back, you'll see it contained way more than we wanted. So we're going to print at this point H2 link, but we're just going to get the href attribute, what's inside of there. So we actually have to get that once we've kind of identified what we want. And this is almost, I wonder if we really even need that based on what I've just done, but it's a good example. So pause the video, make it look like that. All right, and you can see I've already run it once, but I'm going to run it again, Python scraper.py. And so now we've got, could a tree help find a, detain, a decaying corpse nearby? Ah, there's a fun article. HTTPS, arstechnica.com, go here for that article. And so now whenever we run this, we're going to have uh, links. We're going to have the link to the article and the title. So here's what I'd like you to do. Credit here. I'm just going to put a print statement at the end and put your name in a print statement, kind of like a signature so I can see that this is yours. Grab uh, the snipping tool, screenshot this program right here uh, so it looks like this. And if you have this working, you'll get credit for this section. Again, you'll find the turn in. This one would be checkpoint, we're doing after video four, checkpoint three. Um, so. You'll find it in our checkpoint sheet, and you'll also find the turn in on Google Classroom.